Sorry for my absence, my laptop exploded, which was not ideal, but we managed to sort it and so I can make videos again. So anyway, I just want to go through today's stage, obviously very decisive in terms of GC, um, but only really for one, for two people, three people actually. Haig crashed out, very sad, um, hasn't had good luck in the tour it seems. O'Connor lost a lot of time, like three minutes or something, uh, due to a puncture, that was really sad. AG2R, I don't think, did great in chasing, and Roglic lost like two minutes or whatever he did as well. Uh, Pagacha, okay, finally gained 12 seconds, but it was more symbolic than anything else. We look on the GC here, you can see Yates, Pidcock, and Garrett Thomas all looking in pretty good position, actually. Danny Martin is not too bad. Then you've got the classics, which is like Poggy looking good, uh, as well as Vingegaard, and then the rest of them are sort of all, you know, there or thereabouts. Um, big up APP for uh, AG2R. No way he's going back to sort out Ben O'Connor. He's got his own GC ambitions to to get top 11th on. But if we look at Roglic, he is quite a long way back now, which really is, is not ideal if we actually have a look. He's two minutes 36 back, which minus Wout Van Aert is about two minutes on Poggy. Now, the question is, how did Pikachu lose so much time? Now, you might already know this, you might not, but there was a crash here. We we're just gonna go into my little slideshow and whack on the old laser pointer. So anyway, what happened in motorbike hit these things. Now, these are hay bales dressed up Dressed up nicely. I didn't know they were hay bales, actually. I just thought they were like, you know, whatever. Um, but anyway, obviously, when they take the roundabouts, they're supposed to be like sort of linear. So, you, you know, you take it out, it will be the same curve. Anyway, obviously, it isn't. This is impinging the road. It actually goes further out. Guys at the front miss it. Roglic doesn't. You can see here, Roglic just crashed on the right-hand side. Everyone on the left, I think, got round okay. On the right, they didn't. Garrett Thomas was there along the right side. Some others. Here we can see the crash. There's Caleb Ewan, who I think could have been a favorite for the stage. If he did okay, there's a Janny Verdemir, uh, not Janny, Florian Verdemir, second in Roubaix, and there's Roglic landing on his shoulder. Now, this is the key thing, because if you look behind, there's actually a lot of people caught out. Garen Thomas also got caught out, um, as well as most of the Ineos train, apart from Dylan Van Baal, because he was on the other side of the road. The key thing is this here. So this is the group of Wout Van Aert, and they went past him, because Roglic is over here popping back his shoulder. And that is the key thing, because if Roglic hadn't had to saw his shoulder out, he would have been fine. He would have then been in the same group as Garrett Thomas, the same group as Vingegaard. When Wout Van Aert caught them, Vingegaard's here, obviously, because he already had a puncture miles back. Then Roglic would have been in that group. Roglic would have lost no time, like, you know, 12 seconds to Pogaccio, which is basically irrelevant, more or less. Um, so, yeah, that is that is the big issue. Like, Roglic had this shoulder, which I guess makes sense. If we look at this image here, I mean, like, he hasn't landed well on his shoulder, has he? Um, and, he, you know, the tall, the tall bad luck continues for the man. But yeah, that's that's the issue. If he hadn't have had the bad shoulder, he wouldn't have lost any time. So it was really unfortunate for him. It's a bit of a shame that, you know, these cobble stages, like they're really good fun. But I think the thing is, it's like the excitement is never from the stage. It's like, you know, it's never from the attacking. It's from the it's from people going out the back because of punctures, crashes, etc. Which is just like, I don't know, is that exciting? Not really. Like I know it can happen on any stage, but I think it's just the stress of it. I mean, I'm, I, I think they should have cobbles in it, but I think... You know, maybe, I don't know how they make it so it's just less annoying. But it is a bit annoying because now it's like, you know, Ben O'Connor's just lost his GC because he got a puncture at the wrong time. It's just a bit sad. Roglic basically the same crash. I know he could crash at any time, but obviously there's more cra chance of crashing in cobbles. But anyway, those are my thoughts. I hope you'd enjoy it. What have an art power day is coming. Um, got more data from yesterday, actually, which is exciting. Um, some cross-correlation between numbers he released on Strava as well as Garrett Thomas. Means I think we have a good chance to understand what he did on, um, on yesterday's stage. So, anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.